my name is Nikki and I'm a traveling digital nomad that goes to destinations all over the world taking you along with me on all of the adventures giving you travel tips and mindset tips and today we are in Phuket Thailand and we're going to explore all over and I will give you some transportation tips and just tips in general about Phuket so stay tuned and come along for the ride let's go Okay, first things first, y'all, we have to talk about how I got to Phuket. So I was in Krabi, and I'll have to take more footage of Krabi, but I came here by boat, super easy to get. I just asked my resort that I was staying at if they could help me, and they had a transfer for me where they picked me up at the resort, took me to the pier, got me across to Phuket, and then also took me to my hotel here. So that was all for 600 baht, which is about dun, 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 18 US dollars amazing so here's the part where ignorance is bliss comes in because your girl thought that the boat from Krabi to Phuket was gonna be like 30 minutes chilling easy hanging out well we get on the boat and we realize this is gonna take a long time <laughs> two and a half to three hours later we make it to Phuket but those two and a half three hours were wild like the the waves were so choppy we were going up and down the boat was creaking the people next to me were like vomiting i was like trying not to smell it you know we made it out alive i was trying to do some really deep breathing and meditations and i was like this is where my mindset work comes in to play here <laughs> It worked, I was fine, and we lived to tell the tale. We made it to Phuket. Although today, it is a little bit rainy, and when I say a little bit, it was like a downpour, but I guess that's what you get when you come to Thailand in rainy season. So we're just hanging out today. I got some room service, which was absolutely an incredible typhoon. And let me show you this little hotel here. I'm so happy with it, because here's the thing. Asia has ruined me, because I have a nice resort with a pool and a fitness center and a bathtub, a bathtub for 20 US dollars a night. I'm fine, everything's fine. I don't think I can come back to the States, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here, let me show you. I have all my stuff laid out, so just take a look here. So we're walking, dun, 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 dun. Okay, don't mind all of my stuff. I changed over to a backpack so I didn't have a huge suitcase so that I can nicely go from Krabi to here and I left my suitcase at the resort in Krabi thank goodness so that's all my stuff here's the bed I was sitting on it so that's why it's not not super nicely made and then you get this nice pool view woo and then look at this bathroom bathroom bathtub Dun, 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 dun. I should turn on the lights. Bathtub, bathtub, all for $20, $20, $20. <laughs> and dollars. Okay, we're having a little too much fun. <laughs> so as you can see, we're super happy here in the resort and I've just been hanging doing some work. Another tip here, so if you are going to travel the South Islands of Thailand, I've seen people with small suitcases, which are fine. I do recommend the backpack. The less you can bring, the better. I had a huge suitcase that was giving me so much anxiety <laughs> that I just stored it in Krabi and I was like, I'm good, I'll come back for you later and just took a backpack, which has been amazing having less stuff is amazing although i am having separation anxiety with my other stuff suitcase i miss you i'll come back for you soon anywho so i'm going to try and go to the night market tonight and i'm staying by kata beach so we're also going to take a look at some of the beaches probably not today because the beaches don't i mean it's raining so i might have to take you tomorrow but we're going to take a look around phuket and just see what the deal is with phuket because i'm gonna be honest I haven't heard the greatest of things. People are like, eh, touristy, overpriced, maybe not worth it. Yet somehow I'm here. So we're gonna make the most of it as we always do.
right, so I'm here at the Old Town Phuket weekend market. It's Sunday and I am already in love with this market. The colors, the food, the aromas. I wasn't even going to come because it was raining and I was like, eh, I don't know if it'll be good. But then the rain held off and I made it here and it's absolutely incredible. I wish you can smell through the screen. This is amazing, I'm so hungry, which I just learned in Thai, Thai of the day. Uh, Chang is I and Hu is hungry. So Chang Hu, Chang Hu Ka, Chang Hu Mak Mak is a lot. So I'm very hungry. Chang Hu Mak Mak Ka and Ka is polite. So we'll just add that at the end of everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to eat. Not sure what I'm gonna eat. So come with me and see what I get. So I just got five of these little balls and they look amazing and delicious but it's going to be really hard to try and eat this and hold the camera in my hand. <laughs> I'm sure they're great. <laughs> We're going to try this. Setting it down here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is delicious street food. It was 35 baht for five. So cheap and amazing. I'm now trying a Phuket delicacy, rice cakes with red sauce. This is hard to eat in the streets, but we're doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like on the ground eating. Red sauce. Here we go. It's super oniony, has a lot of chives, but it's so good. Mm. They're just cute little rice cups with onions. And this like red sauce that's not actually spicy. It's just kind of, it's actually kind of sweet. All right, I give this a nice 7.5 out of 10. Cause it's not super, super flavorful, but it's a nice little snack. Okay, we just got some jelly, milk, uh, just to wash down all the food. Super sugary, I got some chocolate. The Choco Lava for 30 baht, which is like 30 cents. Um, this is amazing. I'm a very happy girl at this market. I am so impressed, so content. I might even go shopping and get a new dress. Like that's how happy I am. This is incredible. Super sugary, of course, but we're happy. 10 out of 10. I'm so easy when I give the numbers because I like everything. This is so good. All right, let's go shop a little bit. Okay, so the market was absolutely incredible. It was so, so, so full of life and I was not expecting that. And now I headed back near my hotel, near a restaurant that I went to yesterday. It's absolutely amazing. They remember me here. And I'm just supplementing with some vegetables here at one of my favorite restaurants near my hotel. I'm back for the second day and just eating some kale. And then at the end, they give you some pineapple. And I was here yesterday and it was so cute because they gave me a fruit plate at the end and there was apple and pineapple and watermelon. I really only ate the pineapple. I was only in the mood for that. And today they remembered me and gave me just pineapple. So sweet. The Thai people here are absolutely beautiful and amazing and so kind-hearted. And I'm so, so, so happy to be here. Okay, y'all. That market was 
epic. It was so lively. Such great street food, such great markets, such great scenery, and there were performances, which made my heart so warm. <laughs> and I absolutely was so happy that I went. So the Old Town, Phuket, the market, you just walk, you eat, you hang, good vibes. It's only on Saturday and Sunday, so the weekend market. Someone told me it's only Sunday, so someone confirm it's both Saturday and Sunday. Not sure, um, but for sure Sunday. What a wonderful day here in Phuket. So let's hope it doesn't rain tomorrow because I'm gonna head to bed and then hopefully tomorrow we can go take a look at the beaches, the beach goddesses on the beach. Beach goddesses on the beach. <laughs> it's time for bed. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I have more videos about Phuket coming soon, so make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more travel content, and comment below. I'd love to hear from you and connect. Thanks again, and I hope to see you on my channel soon. Much love. Bye.